Scott is loading out a customer. Thought I'd get a little of him working the claw in the barn. water reel. Yes, sir. I did this the other day. I pulled it so tight that it, it stopped it, it stopped this thing from moving and then when I let it go it slung around and it whacked my hand. Let's see your puppy hand. My puppy, you probably can't tell. My, I think you can tell. Maybe. It's real. It got me good. Thought I broke my hand. Probably cracked it or something, but I'm an old motocross racer, so cracked hands not gonna slow me down. Actually, a story to go with that. I met him when I was 17 years old at the <laughs> motocross track, and he was racing. And I thought he was the coolest thing ever with long blonde hair sticking out of that motorcycle helmet. We're not posting this on YouTube. <laughs> Why? It's just a little bio, a little background. And nobody wants to know my background. I just like to throw in the motocross stuff. In case there's any motocrossers out there. Old school motocross. From around this area back in the 80s. Well, how do they know what this area is? You know, like Mosher Valley. That's where I met him, Mosher Valley. That's where I did most of my... Love that place. Wish it was still around. But... Lock on things. Everything comes to an end. If anybody said, hey, I was out at Mosier Valley at that time, but I don't remember that guy. 19, it was 19. It was from 82. 82 to 87. When I, when I raced, mainly. I did a little more like later on after that with my kids. With my kids. But... If you don't recognize him from Mosier Valley, it's because when I met him, he wore a size 30 waist, <laughs> 36 length, and somehow his legs shrunk. To a 30. Uh, <laughs> <strong. laughs> Wonder if I can get that.
looking at the water reel through binoculars to see how much hose he has left to pull out. It has white tape on it that marks so that you know when you're getting down to your last few rolls. You, you young guys could probably, uh, could probably see that far, but not me anymore, that's for sure. on here for when you pull it out so you know when you're getting to towards the end uh, and then you can look uh, through binoculars and see how many wraps you have left like if there's three rows or four rows or whatever and then I paint I don't know why they didn't do it but I painted an orange stripe on there that way I knew how many I could tell from a distance how many times this this drum turned and I'd know how many rolls if I had four rolls I, I want to see that probably three times and then I never pull it off all the way to the end just because well I just don't because I've screwed the hose up on on the end before when I pulled it too far so I usually leave a wrap on there or a half a wrap or something but anyway that's what I did get fuel ethanol ethanol free is what I get delivered to no, no offense to corn growers, but it's tough to destroy small engines. So. I buy ethanol free for these little pumps and stuff. For the cars and stuff, I, I just I buy the corn gas. So. Mainly because that, they don't really have to. They don't really have ethanol free in any, anywhere you go. I mean, but when I order it through the place where I get my diesel, they have it, so I, I buy it. They need a little help. This uh, this thing's old, so I mean, a lot of times I have to pull these tires and clean the rims up real good, or put a tube in the, in the tire, buy a new tire. Just all depends.
where it's at going back down to get that corner yeah. that it missed. love the sound of a uh, sprinkler. I was fixing to say the same thing. I, I don't know. It's just a soothing. If, if I have to, it, that's what I need to do. Instead of like an ocean or something, I need a, I just need a One sprinkler. One of those sound machines yeah. next to your bed that's got a sprinkler going. Yeah. Got the cow mooing in the background. Loading out another trailer. On these smaller trailers after he puts the initial row in and then he has to come in from the side he has to break the bells up Moving pallets. Fun, fun, fun. Making room to get back to the next row. Normally I'd take these pallets out of here, but I'll be cutting again here pretty soon, so I'll probably end it. Well, I'm just lazy. Let's put it on. So here's the front of the barn. The what? The what? The front. Oh. I'm scanning the hay. Pretty close to the front. Still got room for more. But it's deceiving how much hay is in here once it gets this full. Take a ride to the tippy top. Mm. 
this is looking to the back wall of the barn. We'll walk back there. got started loading uh, another trailer for the feed store. Gonna pop some hay with my ZT. <laughs> I need to talk about this ZT. I know you already Look told that, somebody that you were and you're falling down on the job. Well, I, I just hadn't uh, felt it's probably the right time. It's not really, I don't really do it, need to do a review on it, so to speak. Just talk, you know, about, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Feeding some feed, horse feed. They really don't need it, but it's kind of like candy for them. It's kind of like me eating a bag of chocolate chips. Which is becoming more and more frequent. Okay, <laughs> Who, who's buying them? That's why I have them on hand for special treats. Yeah, horse's eyes glowing. That one over there flings her head when it's food time. Wow, that's pretty cool. You got yellow eyes. Come on, little miss. You coming? This, this horse's name is Damien. Now, actually, we call him Beavis. Because he does uh, the Beavis noise. And that's, uh... Whoa, that, that's crazy how their eyes are yellow. I wonder if it'll show up like that on video. It's pretty cool. Off to feed the others. Last chore of the day. Last chore of the day, yep. 